man. It's your boy Hard and Hard, man. Y'all here with Sneakers and Scrans today. And today, I want to let y'all know that next month we will be raffling off shoes. Blazers, join, you know, all different types of brands. You know what I'm saying? Starting that month. We just need y'all to follow all our social media platforms. Comment, subscribe, like, all that. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell your mama, grandma, any sneakerhead, you know, or anybody in the culture. We're going to be doing raffles. We're going to be giving away stuff like this. You just got to like, comment, subscribe, man. Fuck with the game. You know what I mean? And you can win you some shoes, bro. Straight up. We're going to do it once a month. Every month, we're going to give away a pair of shoes. You just got to check in. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. We're here on another episode. Sneakers and strands, sneakers and strands, sneakers and strands. Yes, sir. Well, we this is another podcast where we showcase the hottest, not only the hottest sneakers, but the you know most interesting sneakers around. Um, the most uh, what, <coughs> what did I say? Exclusive, 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 exclusive sneakers. We gonna the hype releases. Yeah, we talk about hype releases here. We talk about uh, lottery. You know what I'm saying? Like the hottest lottery picks, latest Jordan drops. Um, the whole night, anything got to do with sneakers. You know what I'm saying? And strands. So that's what we <coughs> on today. This podcast is for all sneakerheads. Yeah, all sneakerheads in the building. You know what I'm saying? All sneakerheads, all sneakerheads in the building, you know what I'm saying? So, <coughs> it's a podcast where we talk about sneakers, strands, or whatnot. What sneaker we got here today, bro? What this is? Man, we got the goddamn, the 1985 Dunk Highs. These the high top dunks. Mm -hmm. These the 85, the goddamn black and white ashy wash with the coffee tan on them. You know what I mean? The coffee tint. You know what I mean? These came out last year. Think around like November, and they they the ninety five they the nineteen eighty five dunk. These the one these like the fur one join, you know what I mean? Okay. First star win. <coughs> so join first star win dunk before they would before, before they, they join. Yes sir. So you got to know your sneaker history, people. Yes sir. That's what this podcast for to put y'all up on y'all sneaker history, y'all sneaker game. You know what I'm saying? And, and and your sneaker fame. You understand me? Cause you got to understand what, what's really going on out here in the sneaker world. That's if you are, if you are a sneakerhead. Now, I mean, per se, I ain't per se a sneakerhead like that. I just like nice shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, but what not is is the sneakerhead of the clique. So, you know what I'm saying? That's where his part come in at, man. So, that's uh, yeah. all we doing, man. We just be sitting back, kicking it. You know, doing what we do. We are gonna play a little music from. You know what I'm saying? We got we got somebody sent us some music in. What's the, uh, oh yeah. What 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 market uh, rap name? One way co. One way co. Yeah. One, one way, way co, co sent us some music today. We're gonna um preview. We're gonna preview some of one way co music. Um, anybody out there, you got music? We're gonna get the email to y'all so y'all can uh send us some music. Yes, sir. We definitely like we definitely like treats. You know what I'm saying? Like high treats. Uh, we be we be on them over the high man. Yeah, you know the beast. Edibles, you know what I'm saying? If you got edibles, y'all can send us your edibles or what have you. We'll showcase your stuff, whatever you got. Um, if you got merchandise, right here, y'all see we got the drip trapper oh. gear in here. Yep, the you know trap world. Trap world. You know what I mean? The whole nine, man. We just showcasing everything, what we got going on. Oh, anyway, yeah, and, man. and we got my boy CMO Stat, the yeah. Cad County shit. Shout out to that boy CMO Stat, yeah, man. man. The Cash Counter. You know, cause we said the Cash Counter nigga, so. Believe it. You know, we got to represent for our people that's out here doing positive things in the community. You know what I'm saying? Because it's for the culture now. It's about sneakers and scram, but it's definitely for the culture. You know, yeah. everything that we like, everything that we into. It might be fashion, music, you know what I'm saying, entertainment, whatever. Consists of the culture of what we got going on. You know what I mean? Believe it. This just the, the sneakers and scram. This just <laughs> like the, it's like the foundation. Put it like that. Believe it. It's like the foundation. That's all we do here, man. We just be kicking it. We're going to come to y'all, you know, bring y'all a new episode. You know, <coughs> seldomly as the, as the subscribers go up. You know what I'm saying? So y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so y'all know every time we drop a new episode, uh, we're going to get y'all the Instagram page and 
all of that, the emails <coughs> from an artist, send your music in, what so, have you. The whole nine, man. Whatever whatever we want to do, man. This is our podcast. We can do what we want to do on here, man. Yes, we build this thing from the ground up, man. And y'all gonna watch us do it. Y'all gonna yes, watch sir. us do it from the ground up. We gonna hit y'all with a whole lot of content. You know what I'm saying? And the whole nine. And for all of y'all black entrepreneurs that have products that y'all trying to get out to the general public, know what I mean? Y'all can hit us in the Gmail. Let us know what y'all pushing, what kind of P y'all pushing. Nah. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to see if that is the type of P we pushing or we can push and we can link up and got that and we can promote your stuff. You know what I mean? Y'all just hit us up on the email, man. Whether it's music, product, got that hair care, shoe, whatever. What have you? If you got bundles. Hell, <laughs> we're doing interviews. Yeah, we're doing all that. We wanna we're doing interviews. <coughs> introduce you to the world. Get you out there so everybody can got there and see what you got going on and support. Because that's the main thing. Support. That's the main thing. Support each other. We got to support, support each other. other we're going to be good. We're going to win every we're time. We're going to be good. Yeah. Be good. Grab that juice roller, boy. That's my boy. Hey, oh, man, yeah. We got to shout out to Juice J, man. Oh, that's yeah. My juice roller, man. Shout out to Juice Roller, man. You got man. That. Shouts out to my boy Juicy J. He been keeping us rolling. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm pretty sure y'all can see that right there. We got the Juicy Rollers. My boy, shouts out to my boy Juicy J. Keeping us rolling. You know what I'm saying? Really, really perfect though. Yes, uh, the only roller that you can roll that uh, do leaves. You know what I'm saying? That'll roll the leaf perfectly. Perfect. I'm talking about perfect every time. That's how we use it nowadays is the juicy roller. The juicy roller is the is the is the motherfucker right now, man. So yeah. what you feel about the whole pushing P thing? That shit oh, man. Pushing P man what I feel about it, man, you know to each his own, but at the end of the day, man, I just think it's a fad that everybody following. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's all. Like the crate challenge or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I think it's just a fad. Goddamn, <laughs> two more months from now, <laughs> motherfucker gonna be pushing another level. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I don't get all caught up in it because I know yeah. it's just for the moment. You know what I mean? True. Cause God dang, at the end of the day, you know, I come from the Rocco era where God dang, power that P. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, when I hear that push and peace song, all it do it really just me just remind me of the old Rocco power that P. You know Future was on that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? I believe that was a dope album. That was a fire ass album. That was a dope album. And, and Rocco was really pushing P on that song. Like everything, yeah. every every word came out of his mouth was yeah. about a P. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He definitely like And it made shout sense. Shout out to that boy Rocco, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to shout the Don. Shout out to the Don. A one since day one, man. For real, for real. The real got that the original. P pusher from the city. Believe you know what I mean? I got to say that one. You know what I mean? But other than that, man, I just think it's a fact that everybody following and hey, y'all do y'all thing, man. I yeah. just y'all keep supporting that boy Gunner. Yeah. Y'all keep pushing the P. Yeah, y'all keep supporting your local artists. You, you feel keep, me? Keep supporting who you who you like, you know what I'm saying? Who you who you, That's your up. neighborhood and whatever what have you, man. We support all our young black entrepreneurs, man. Yeah. It's a dope song though. They got the motherfucking charts going crazy but with that. When they when they add me about it though, that just be the <coughs> only thing that come to my mind though is the old Rock OP, cause mm -hmm. that's what I came off for. So I feel like they like when they put the song out, maybe they should have been like, hey man, shouts out to that boy Rocco too, cause he really the originator of the the whole pushing that P type shit. True, true. I'm true. Just, and just I think it's just a, a a a lingo thing, you feel what I'm saying? Cause you know what I'm saying? Like it's a rhyme and lick, like it's a rhyme pattern. Rocco got the like you say, Rocco got the, the, the dope rhyme pattern put, you know what I'm saying? The people The wordplay. Yeah, the wordplay like a motherfucker, man. Yes, sir. Word, Rocco got that word wordplay like a motherfucker, man. I don't know no nigga out that that you know what I'm saying, that just metaphorically Inclined like Rocco, man. Like that man talk, boy. Rocco talk that shit, man. Rocco, if you see the interview, man, even if we need to get you on the podcast, man, we'd love to have you as a guest, man, yeah, on the yeah. podcast. For real. Get y'all to us, man. You know what I'm saying? I did cut. Sneakers and strands, man. I know you love sneakers. Yes, sir. And I know you, you know what I'm saying? I know you like to blow yeah. a little bit. You know what I mean? Today we smoking that 100% white no cut, man. So we on that no cut. Yeah, man, we smoking the white no cut. No cut, orga organic, clean, organic. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is with the no cut, man. Know yeah, what I mean? sir. 
No they, they got mer merch in there. They oh, got yeah. shirts in there. All kinds of shit. I got some no cut merch over there. I seen you with the no cut. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have to pull that out on the next one. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, please believe me. Cause we're gonna have some more scrams. Yeah, and we definitely gonna have some more sneakers. Every week we're gonna showcase a different pair of sneakers. Um, today we got the what these are. The, the 1985 got that Ashy Wash Dunk High. The 85 Dunk High. Dunk, dunks, dumb. Man, I remember dunks didn't even cost as much as they cost right now. Oh, boy. They high hell now. These motherfuckers hard, though. And that due to all of the. You ain't even know. The, whoa, the, they, they, all these, you ain't never. Whoa, these motherfuckers. Oh, nah. Boy. These motherfuckers. Now, see, that's the new crave. I see um, people trading shit a lot, of, doing a lot of trading yeah, yeah. and stuff with the shoes. Man, cause it's a lot of money in the shoe, man. A lot of guys just don't know that, but it's a lot of money in shoes, especially the. I'm gonna just keep it real. The older your shoe is, man, mm -hmm. you keep that motherfucker like the original 1985 bread Jordan ones, the black, red, and white ones that look like these. But you know Jordan ones and Dunk highs look alike. But see, when Jordan first got in the lead, he had to wear Dunks cause he, they ain't had no Jordan shoe. Exactly. And then he made the Jordan one. And it resembled the Don't High. They look exactly like them. Yeah, they do, but they, they ain't the same. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they got the extra wing and stuff and on And Jordan them. got Jordan on his. Yeah, Jordan got Jordan and on these, his. And these, you see, ain't no Jordan signs on these. You know what I mean? But yeah. this the first shoe he woke got down to 85. 85 Dunks. Yeah, yeah when he first, first got in the league. That was his first shoe. And then he got that endorsement with Nike the net, yeah, and boom. Got That's down. a little shoe history for you right there. Mm -hmm. If anybody uh, if anybody got the, got the Jordan... <coughs> The Jordan One, we'd love to have you as a guest on the show. We're looking for um, all sneakerheads, um, resellers. If you resell sneakers, Marco. we want you on the podcast. If you're reselling bad. sneakers, if you uh, you know, if you trade sneakers, but, what yeah. have you, we want you on the show. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's your boy Hard and all it, man. Y'all here with sneakers and scrans today. And today, I want to let y'all know that next month we will be raffling off shoes blazers join you know all different types of brands you know what i'm saying starting that month we just need y'all to follow all our social media platform comment subscribe like all that tell a friend tell a friend tell your mama grandma any sneaker here you know anybody in the culture we're gonna be doing raffles we're gonna be getting away stuff like this you just gotta like comment subscribe man fuck with the game you know what i mean and you can win you some shoes bro Straight up. We're going to do it once a month. Every month, we're going to give away a pair of shoes. Just got to check in. All right, so this is a uh, section of the show where we uh we do questions from the comments. You know, this is going to be this is the question from the comments section, right. man. You know what I mean? Uh, Lil Marco, is there shoes and... <laughs> Is their shoes in all those boxes? Damn, they folks think we capping, man. Pick a pair, man. Pick a box, man. Shit, I don't know. They say it's their shoes in all the boxes. We gonna pick. Trying to get one. We gonna pick one. We gonna pick a few shit. Y'all, I guess they might think that one was playing. Okay. Ooh, them hard too. What them here? These them motherfucking old. That don't Carolina edition. Them motherfucking nasty too. Yes, I know they're the 13, but I forgot the name of them bitches. Fat Joe, get at us, man. We'll pull up on you. We know you're a sneakerhead. Khaled, DJ Khaled, we know you're a sneakerhead. Shout yeah, out to yeah. all our sneakerheads Damn, I out there. I forgot the name of these bitches. You know, it said on the side of the box. No, nah, they some 13, but they got they a 13s. name. Okay. They joined 13, but they got a name. And I forgot the fucking name. If y'all know bitches. the name of these shoes, y'all let us know, man. The Jordan 13 Retro. What's yeah. the official name of I forgot the fucking name. It's like nasty too. Motherfucker go good with some nice jeans. Yeah, they go good with a nice pair of jeans. Nice pair of jeans, man. Throw the motherfuckers on and be clean. You yeah. hear me? Yeah. Man, they might think we capping. Pick another box, man. They they say it's the shoes in all them boxes. Uh, we we got, gonna pick another one. This this is a shoe wall. This ain't this ain't just right. no props. We we ain't not here capping. Okay. Oh, no, boy, you picking, you got, hey, boy, you picking number they got down? Them Carolina dunks. motherfucking color, man. Y'all see them? Them oh, them dunk motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. And them dunk. Well, shit, I'm going to pick one, too. Shit. They think, well, you can pick any they got that. the shit, boy. I already know what's going on. I'm going to just pick one. Them motherfuckers got I'm going to just pick one and see what we got here. What we got? What I pick? What I pick? 
Oh, those some John oh, Warren. Warren. The Joe Pilots. Warren, motherfucker. Yeah, them nice. Them the Pilots. Yeah, them nice. Y'all see them? John Warrens. Y'all see them? The Pilot. The Pilot, motherfucker. So, yes. So, to answer your question, Lil Marco, yes, there's shoes in the Audi boxes. Yeah, man. On this, on our shoe wall. We got down, you feel? We ain't just capping. You know, it ain't every just week, a backdrop. It ain't just a backdrop. Every week we gonna bring y'all, we gonna showcase a new pair of shoes. We just decided to showcase these first today mm -hmm. because these are a very interesting pair of shoes. So, yeah, um, they coffee don't. How long, how long y'all been collecting shoes? Well, that's what we gonna stop. We gonna stop y'all right there. I am not per se a shoe collector. I just like <laughs> nice shoes. My yeah. boy Nard, on the other hand, is the shoe collector. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Like shoes. He's the shoe collector. I'm gonna put that in parentheses because this nigga is. They, you know how you got that one partner that like that nigga? Did, he is the shoe. This the shoe collector. I collect strands. You know what I'm saying? I love strands. He loves sneakers. Uh, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That's so right. oh. my boy is is really the sneaker head of the clique. You know what I'm saying? Out of all all our, all our partners. You know what I'm saying? Our peers, bro, brother, one that know he got. You know, and when I say sneaker head, I don't mean just a nigga that just buy a lot of shoes. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I know for one history. nigga, for one you keep your shoe your sneakers clean. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't, nigga don't, I know a sneakerhead, in my perspective, nigga don't wear, he, he could really wear a different pair of shoes every day if he wanted to. Shouts out to my boy Jay Jigger, man. Cash, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Carry around the record. My boy yeah, Jay right. Jigger. He be my boy too. Jay Jigger. And he gonna put the KOTD, yeah. the kicks of the day on him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my boy Jay Jigger, he gonna got there, man. Sure, he the got, he a real sneakerhead, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? We know sneakerhead. I ain't per se a sneakerhead, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you don't want to know anything about the camera or something, you know what I'm saying? Some videos and shit. Now, that's my that's my feel. Bruh is the real sneakerhead. I I'm, I just love strands. I love, I love you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Different strands. I love to try different strands. Indicas, sativas. Hybrids. Like that, hybrids, edibles, <laughs> infused. Yeah. I like infused. Um, you know what I'm saying? I just don't, I don't do the drinks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do a, L now see, when I went to Vegas, I did a few edibles. I with some drinks. But see, the edible had me like stuck like crazy. Like, or, or either I be, or either I ate too many of the motherfuckers, but like, boy, when I was in, when I went to Vegas, man. So but they might not have the best, the best bud, but because the shit kind of dry and brittle out there. Mm -hmm. I know what is going on because the humidity in the air. Which I ain't give a damn. I just wanted to get by some weed legally. I ain't give a damn. Yeah, what it yeah, was, nigga. Too, point bro. it to me. Where is that? I want to. I can find this shit. I ain't shit. <coughs> that shit was. The dispensary dry, weed wow. is not what we what 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 is cracked up to be, man. Bro, when I broke my shit now. I'm turn the street to weed dust. dust. Yeah, you gotta get the street weed when you go to when you go to Vegas. So yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying. Man. The dispensary is cool to go to the dispensaries and, and you know what for I'm the saying? experience for the experience. Yeah. But like, if you really trying to get high, you got to find little Ray Ray the at the corner one. store. Yeah, you feel sad. The boy you ain't put no cap on yeah, the THC no, level, man. man. On the, the real, the boy be saw I did the real one. Uh, yeah, we want the real one, nephew. Yeah, yeah. Dead ass here, man. Planet, here. planet uh thirteen. That way you think, went. Man, they let me down, man. Mm. I'm glad I brought some of my own shit though. Cause boy, it's I was, all hype. I was disappointed, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's I, all hype. Hype. It's all hype. Not, bro. Not my fault, cause I got caught up in the hype. <coughs> We're gonna take another another question from <coughs> from the comment. Nigga, I got caught up in the hype, man. What's your favorite strand? <coughs> Me man, I'm gonna be honest with the world. My favorite strand is OG. I think OG is one of the best strands of goddamn gas that they ever made. It's the most like, consistent. I think a, it's the I'm most a, consistent strand. I like the the feeling, the high. Yeah. It give me a longer high than most exotics, and I ain't gonna even count. Cause I smoke exotic all day, and I love the, the the good OG, not the shit that these niggas. 
the Reggie that nigga selling Trying to yell that, that for screaming at his OG. I'm talking about the real deal OG. You yeah. know, Kush, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. The real one, not none of that Reggie shit nigga just putting the name on, but the real I'd OG. Say, I say strands. I'm, I don't get caught up in the strands because they put so many names on shit. Yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? They, they come up with new scrams. They coming every up day. with niggas. Niggas is really just making their whole new name. Shout out to the folk with the real strands out there. No cap. Shouts out to my girl Titty. You feel me? With the Titty Pack. Mm -hmm. That the titty definitely pack. Uh, a definitely a great Lotto. strand. Yeah, shouts out to Charlotte Lotto. Yeah, you know, yeah. these people with, you know, credentials and, you know, credible, creditable. Strands, you know what I'm saying? These are credible strands that you <coughs> name. Credible genetics. Credible genetics. Good, clean genetics. You feel what I'm saying? That's what we yeah, like. Bro. OG, oh, OG. I, I love OG. I smoke, I smoke OG, you feel me? That's my favorite strand of weed. I'm just, that's just me. I smoke all of it, bro. I smoke it all, but like, you can give me some good OG, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I ain't gonna even count to you. I like you I say, bro. Sometimes, no sometimes you can get by some of the, some of that OG be but that exotic be some air. I'm talking about some real yeah. air. I'm talking about in the worst way. And then you, you be like, man, what is this? And how did y'all charging them prices for this? For real, for real. What we got here? Is that jokes? <coughs> Yeah, that's that gumbo. Gumbo. Uh, yeah. That shit smoke good. Man. Gumbo. It's a it's a goddamn smooth hit though. Mm -hmm. That's a goddamn that one. I'm finna sit down and watch a movie, blunt. Uh, yeah, that smooth shit. You been watching Power? Hell yeah. Every goddamn Saturday night. That I shit catch it be, before Sunday. That shit been going too crazy, boy. To Rico, mother. But did you see the last episode that had like everybody got down? He tied into like, but when you think about it, but it nigga, hey man, Tariq got down some bullshit. Hey, that <laughs> nigga, that nigga, Tariq, but <laughs> Tariq, Tariq, Tariq get your knocked off, but fucking around, but oh, yeah, the dead but, folk that, that, that oh, he done called man. to die came back in the Good club. Good night, but I was like, damn, I forgot about La La. What about I forgot that, 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 about Proctor. <laughs> I forgot about all that. I was like, man, this man. He got a lot of niggas man, knocked man, off, boy. The folk been getting knocked off the around girl, here, The nigga. nigga who killed his sister. Yeah. 50 cent. Come on, goddamn, man. Goddamn, hey, he done got everybody knocked. The daddy. I'm talking about, man. The goddamn bitch that got home. No, he ain't had nothing to do with her, though. Mary J did that. Man, I'm talking about. I think, what you think about Mary J acting? But she all right, though. I like her. I think, I think her acting was all right. I, I actually like the actor. You feel me? I, it, it's cool to see her. It's cool to just see her talking. You feel what I'm saying? I get Cause we just so used to seeing her in concert doing. You know what I'm saying? Singing and stuff. You don't really see a lot. Of, she don't do a lot of interviews. Conversation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just cool to hear her just cuss a motherfucker out like yeah. a true black I woman. Mean, now she 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 great at cussing a motherfucker out. Now she. She cuss a motherfucker out exactly how a black woman cuss a motherfucker out. Yeah, yeah, cause she I a black know some woman. of that shit can't be in the script. She doing <coughs> she she doing some of that cussing off the head, off the top of the head. She cussing a little too good. She cussed like your favorite auntie. But she did not hear got that. I did. Didn't like the way she just held all the secrets from old boy. Like but that, that part of the script, you know what I'm saying? Know, that's that's part of the character. That's why we, that why we, we gotta we can't take that, that as, her, as her character. No, that ain't her character. I'm saying yeah. it's her on the show. Yeah, I, I'm speaking on the show. Okay, you know what okay. I mean, I ain't okay. speaking her as a person. I'm saying goddamn about this show. Like I ain't like <laughs> the way she just lied to this man. Told this man he's 19. Yeah. This man 23 but years look, old. That goes Charlie. on, but like that shit, that type of shit goes on. That's all they showing. That's all they saying. This type of shit that goes on now. It's somebody out there exactly damn near like that <coughs> got that same story, similar to it, if not the same story. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people like, can relate. A lot yeah, of yeah. people can relate to a lot of stuff these people got going on, man. That's when BML it, come back on? I don't even know, man. But hey, we gonna we need to start doing that shit too, Ziggy. Goddamn, what? previewing some goddamn shows and movies, reviewing talking about shows. them. 
Yeah. Yeah, and getting a, like the 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 viewers response and stuff like that, like reaction video. Mhm. Mm you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause all that part of the culture too. Our True. black actors, athletes. That's why I say, God damn, <laughs> this sneakers and scram, but we all about the culture now. This just the foundation. You know what I mean? Cause when it comes to sneakers and scram, man, you know, God damn, this shit go deep into the black culture. It do. It definitely. You do. feel me? It definitely do. So you can't even really speak about the sneaker game without speaking about the black man. True. You can't really be talking about That's who we we buying all the sneakers. Exactly, and creating them. And create them. Nigga, these white folk taking all our ideas. players' ideas and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? All they yeah. do is just buy the patent. They get, get that. Why you think on? You can go on Nike.com, create your own pair of shoes, custom made. True. Let me tell you why. Cause if they like your your patent, they gonna use that motherfucker. True. True. Cause once you done you done got they already set. Oh, okay, so oh, when you when you create some shoes, they can use it. Wow, they can go back and create them. And, and they ain't even gotta them. pay you. Yeah. Because you sign that this when you you click I agree. Agree on that goddamn app. Oh <laughs> so 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 we slick out here creating shoes. Yeah, for free. They might they might remix them a little bit. Your shoe might make a billion dollar one year. The shoes you created, the color pattern, I'd put it like that. The colorway. Mm hmm Come on, man. And them folks ain't finna give you nothing. They gonna say shit, you better be glad we let you make your for free. <laughs> So some of these shoes could have been somebody else's idea. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Cause I, I watch a dude on YouTube, these coffee dunked. What they do like, like they asked why this, but this was white, but they dunked it in coffee. Mm -hmm. They dunked these in coffee to get this yellowish color like this. Oh, okay. Now you get this color, that, that coffee. So you gotta know your shoe history. See, that's why I can't proclaim myself to be a sneakerhead. Because I see the shoes, I be like, them hard as fuck, and I just like them because they look good. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And I be like, boy, they hard to find some pants or something to go with them, but they hard. You know what I'm saying? See, I don't be knowing the history behind the sneakers. I just know them some hard sneakers. Now, to see, they doing a lot of re-releasing the same sneakers, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, and changing the colorway. <coughs> changing the colorway. That, like, like, like we were just talking about, then... <coughs> How they let you go on Nike and make your own colorway. How they able to come out with so many. They be taking mm -hmm. people ideas. Don't think they don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't think they don't. See, I just, I just like the history of shoes anyway. Because every shoe have a history. And people don't even understand it. Then there every, then there every black athlete that was from at least, i say, 85 on up. That was a good athlete. Got their own shoe. Yeah. That's a part of history in itself. True. You know what I mean? Like, and, and then when you go back now and try to find all them old, like them Bo Jacksons and them and them Harachis, like the Junior Seahawks <coughs> shit that we grew up rocking. Yeah, man, yeah. them folk want eight hundred thousand dollars for them <coughs> shoes. Get the fuck out of here. You can't go get them them gray and black Bo Jackson. What them folk want? What them folk probably want to rack twelve hundred for them motherfuckers. For the gray and black bows. I swear, bro. Them oh like classics God. now. So like, if a nigga got a pair of them. He really got some worth some. Keep that shit crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, them folk won't buy goddamn eight hundred to a thousand dollars for them boat jacks. Just depend on your size, what you rocking. You know what I mean? You gonna start it? I looked down. I was finna get me some. I was like, damn, they ain't even have my size. But like all the old shoes we grew up rocking, especially all the old Jordans, like the goddamn Air, Nike Air Trainers. Yeah, I mean all that shit cold now, bro. We got another question from the um from the comments. They say, uh, what's y'all favorite, indica or sativa? I don't know. I probably like indica. Yeah, I say yeah. sativa like slow you down. You know what I'm saying? I, I I when I think of sativa, I think of slow down. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, that's that. That's that I'm finna sit and watch, watch a movie, movie type shit. Yeah. yeah, that's that sativa. Yeah, indica. You feel me? You can still be goddamn yeah, creative. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in it. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go indica. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go indica myself, me personally. Yeah, I'm high now. Uh, yeah, the rain beating the goddamn. 
but it been raining like a motherfucker. Man, this Atlanta weather's so crazy. It's raining, but it's warm as a motherfucker. It's damn near <laughs> 70 degrees outside. That's the fuck crazy. going on, man? The weather man don't know what the fuck he be talking about sometimes, man. That's the crazy shit. The weather man say some shit, but you don't know how to dress around them motherfuckers. And I see where, I see where nigga used to wear shorts and long johns in Atlanta, boy. Cause boy, you don't know what the hell gonna go on. Hell no. You don't know what the hell gonna go on around them motherfucker, boy. For real, for real. Not they with say, the goddamn uh, weather. Not with the weather. They say, uh, when does the merch drop? We're gonna definitely get y'all the merch, you know what I'm saying? We're getting the logo together. So, y'all just be on the lookout for the merch. Right uh, now, y'all yeah. can pick up that drip trappers. You know what I'm saying? Some of that drip trapper merch. Zone, zone merch. the we series. The zone the series merch. Hoodies, t shirts. Yeah, we got the zone hat. the series merch. Hoodies, hats, the whole nine. Uh, yeah. So, drip trapper merch out right now. Y'all can tell them yeah. the Instagram where they can get the drip trapper. Man, merch. you got to hit Big Aunt Nardo 1668. Hit me DM, man. I, I got you. And uh, you can hit that Zones the Series Instagram or uh, Zones the Series dot com. Get your Zones merch. Uh, make sure y'all check out Zones the Series on YouTube. On too. YouTube, yeah, man, y'all got to do that. one. Y'all make sure y'all check that out. Season two on the way, definitely on the way. We definitely don't want y'all forget about that. We working on that. Um, say, what age was y'all when y'all got y'all first pair of joints? Boy. Man. I could, hey, boy, to be honest, man, my... The first man, I pair, grown, I could remember. I was grown when I got my first pair of joints. I ain't even gonna cap you down, boy. I probably like 10. Because I remember I had... I'm gonna tell you, nah, it was before then, because I remember I had just bought some joints when well, I moved mama, to Chateau. Well, my mama was not <laughs> buying no fucking... She, I boy, had two pair. She was set in stone, but my mama was... Uh, that was her shit. She was like... I'm not buying no hundred fit dollar cause John wasn't but a hundred fit dollar. She was like, I'm not buying no hundred fit dollar pair of shoes, nigga. You want some hundred fit dollar shoes, nigga? You gonna have to buy them yourself. So I bought my first pair of joints. I was probably seventeen, boy. But Ziggy, that what I'm saying, bro. You remember? This how serious this shit is, y'all. You remember we were coming up? Nigga was dying for starter coats yeah. and joints. That was she was saying. That was a nigga that was would my kill you thing. about a pair of joints when I was a little kid, that bro. Was my mama thing. She was like, nigga would murder you about a starter coat and a pair of joint home, boy. But my mama was like, I'm not buying you that shit for you to go out here and a nigga kill you about them shoes. Cause that what they were doing. Boy. When we were coming up, nigga, we're killing nigga by joining, boy. With that shit, boy. She was like, no. Get murdered for I'm having not buying no fucking too fresh. Dress. Walk through the wrong hood with them goddamn J's on. Never come home again. That shit used to be crazy, bro. Then you remember you used to have to wait in line. Nigga be in front of the store for hours. Now you can't even got dang wait in line for no shoes. Cause all these got dang resellers using these bots and shit buying yeah, all so, the shoes. So tell me, okay, so explain to me what the fuck is the whole shit about the bots. See the bots, they like a program that these got dang like hackers and shit create for like people like me or you to just buy and they get like 20 cell phones and 10 tablets and then they download the sneaker app and got down Hibbit Sport, all the shoe store apps on all these devices. Mm -hmm. And then they enter the raffle on them bitches. Oh, and they gonna hit on one of them. But they just uh, out of about 50 them. devices, they probably gonna hit on about 10. And they go pick up all 10 pairs of and, shoes. And, but look, they homeboy doing the same thing and they other homeboy doing the same thing. So they snatching up all the shoes really. Cause they the nigga with all the devices. Whether like me, just with my one phone. That's why you everybody phone in my house when I want to get some shoes. Damn, <laughs> you just go get everybody phone. Down into a raffle. Shit, into the raffle. Oh, that shit already on their phone. Every shoe thing, nigga. Anytime I, I, I at least have a better chance of winning me at least one or two pair. If you got five, six, ten phone, cause ten I got phones. about ten phone. Yeah, tablets and shit. So you take. Boy, don't give him too much game. Don't give him too much game. Don't give him too much game. Right. Good night, boy. I ain't know these folks going this. They ain't know these folks doing this with these shoes, man. Yeah, and they make it hard for us to get on like the public. The yeah. General public, nigga. I don't care if you make it the Foot Locker at 8 o'clock in the morning when the new J come out. You ain't going to give them because them niggas with them bots already in there order them all. 
<laughs> they gonna say, yeah, we got them, but they sold out online. You be like, oh, man. Wow. Now you gotta got them holla at some niggas on Star X or go or motherfucking got them um, with them other folks, Stadium Goods. Now, yeah. Stadium Goods is a real store in New okay. York. But goddamn, that who you gonna have to holler at? Cause them be the motherfucker buying cool kicks. The folk that all the rappers go to in California and shit. Yeah. Yeah, them the niggas that got all the bots. We gotta take a trip to some of these stores. Yeah, man. yeah, bro. I want our I want our podcast to be different, man. Bro, we, you know we what I'm saying? We can travel to different like yeah. shoe stores, shit, cause I'm gonna be going anyway. Uh, yeah. I wanna go to I wanna go to some different stores, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Some different stores and then we go you know what I'm saying, find us a, a dispensary that let her film in there, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. Sneakers and strands, man. We got to we I got know to hey, I know do it more than right? just you know what I'm saying, we just started right here, you know what I'm saying? We just we got started some, right here. I got here. some ideas too, bro. <laughs> we can, I I was just about to say something. Yeah. But I forgot we talking right yeah. now. We in the podcast. Yeah. We yeah, live, yeah. man. We we working, man. You know what I mean? This thing, this thing gonna be, this thing gonna be. We can go any way we wanna go, man. Hey, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That shit can be. Cause get what? So what? You ain't never tell her what age you were when you got your first pair of joy. Well, when I got my first pair, I know I was about like nine or ten. Cause get what? My second pair I got. I was in Chateau. We had just moved to Chateau and got them. I started hanging with Lil Wonky B, R.I.P. Lil B, man. Mm. And got them. I was showing them nigga my J. They were looking through the bedroom window. Wonky Lil B. Mm. They, I was like, yeah, boy, look at these motherfuckers. I had just got two pairs. They was in my bedroom window. And that thing, know they daddy fat came out of nowhere. Get y'all ass in the house. Pop, pop, beating their ass. Because they ass was poking out my window, bro. Because they, no. they, they had they body in my window looking at my shoe. No. That's how I know I got that had me some Jay. Cause I always fuck with shoes. Cause you know my big brother, he loves shoes and all my big cousin them, all them niggas. So yeah. I came up, got down watching them nigga you to rock the Paco, the damage in the U, pan okay. with the J. Facts. You know, Scott Dale might have a Levi with the goddamn shell toe, silk t shirt, yeah. Kango. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I was a little boy, that was nigga you to rock, you exactly. feel me? Exactly. And I used to see nigga rocking that shit. I used to be like, why yeah. those nigga friend? Nigga might have him on a hair bone or the chains or the nugget rings or yeah. something, you yeah. know. Yeah. Man, boy, getting real money back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real money nigga back then, boy. And that's what I used to see. And I used to see all the goddamn big dope boys and shit with all the nice shit and the goddamn shoes and the clothes. Oh, the like, whole yeah, nine. Yeah. The whole nine. My brother jumped out of the pool early, so I used to go in his closet and steal his shoes sometimes. His feet were about three sides bigger than mine. I have on about four pair of socks. Hey, man. <laughs> got there looking like a goddamn clown. Go you gotta to do school. what you gotta do, man. Hey, you talking about? You gotta do what you gotta do. I, mean, I remember feel that me? shit like it was goddamn yesterday, boy. That's crazy. Rest in peace, boy, Avery. Man, Avery used to be mad as hell at me by his goddamn shoes. <laughs> you I've been wear fuck, all brush shoes. I've been up fucking that nigga's shoes up, play, trying to play kickball and some two big shoes. It's cool. <coughs> Boy, I done got down, bent that nigga J's all up, boy. That nigga Avery get home pissed off, but He want to kill my ass. No. You ain't doing like that, did you? I wasn't thinking about goddamn. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? Me. I was just young. Know. And I just yeah, knew no they were George. Was fresh, and nigga know he was fresh. Yeah, that yeah, day. yeah. <coughs> he my big brother shoe. Man, hell out of here. He had a lot on. Real, for real, man. No, I had to got Shout down. out to all the big brothers that passed their shoes down to their little brothers, man. Yeah, yeah. We got down. Got Keep got them shoes clean and pass them down to your little brothers, man. Definitely keep, right. them, keep them shoes clean it, and, 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 and pass it down to your little brother, man. That'd be worth something, boy. For real, for real. I'm trying to tell you. Boy, you got niggas like goddamn Fat Joe and Jim Jones, them been collecting the shoes since the 90s. Them niggas got down a million dollar worth of shoes and shit. They definitely do. <laughs> Like boy, I ain't even lying, boy. bro. And they ain't and they ain't been buying they shit from Star X and shit. You know, <coughs> like Fat Joe, he had a deal with Nike when he was with Terror Squad, so he got all kind of like fucking Air Force Ones and shit. That how DJ Khaled really got in with Nike, cause Fat Joe been with Nike back in the Terror Squad day. Oh, okay. You feel me? And I you ain't never knew that. And you know DJ Khaled, that. Joe, Remy Ma, all them with Terror Squad and shit. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I never knew that them that they would that they had that that shit locked down like that though. Yeah, yeah. 
But that nigga, that nigga got damn Fat Joe got Terror Squad Air Force One One on One that worth so, shit. Whatever he wanted to be worth, mm. like for real, bro. It's a, it's all kind of history behind shoes. Like they got some, they got some uh, Air Force One, but they were the nigga. It was a nigga that worked at Philip Moore with the folk that made Newport, and it was a nigga that worked at Nike. He say these the biggest two company that take away from the black community that don't ever give the black folk nothing back, the tobacco industry and Nike. Damn. He say he say the black community spend more money with tobacco companies and Nike than any other company they spend money with and these two companies don't give us shit back. Damn. And I thought about that shit, I said, God damn. <coughs> that shit kinda true. <coughs> That nigga made, hey man, he made a good point there, man. And then, so get what he did. He made some Air Force One, because he worked at the Nike play, mm -hmm. and he worked at the cigarette place. So, the nigga made some Air Force One called a menthol, I think they were menthol tens or some shit. But he made them illegally. Nike told him he pulled a goddamn, you know, they sent him the leather cease, cease and desist. Yeah. Goddamn, he pulled a burnt the shoes and shit, but. He returned a lot of shoes, but a lot of Nike employees kept the shoe. Oh, and they got the, the, just the 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 price the worth so room. much money right now, oh, nigga. And God. they come in a Newport box, but no, yeah, they do, they bro. Come in the shoe box, a shoe box. Like it's a Newport, Newport box. box, but it open from the top. No, but I swear to God, like a pack of Newport. Yes, sir. Get but the fuck you out find of here. a pad on Air Force One, boy, you got you about ten thousand dollars, bro. They get the fuck out of here. Them fucking right shoes. God. The Al the Newport Air Force is Newport. in ten racks, bro. You man, got get that. the fuck out of here. Bro, you ain't finna tell man. me that shit, man. Bro, they pull. They you ain't about to tell me that shit, man. Man, that's my phone. Man. You ain't about to I tell me that shit. I'm finna show you, man. You can find. You gotta find some. It's a few people got them. They don't even pull the album though. Damn. Like if Nike, if Nike find out you got them, they can get them, they can get them back and screw them and shit. They worth ten thousand. Cause, Cause niggas ain't got them, and they didn't make the, the nigga didn't make. But I think he said what like twenty, thirty pairs. So he ain't have a lot of pairs, and he said he kept about like we ten got our, pairs. We got our speaker. We got our we got our uh, audio engineer oh, getting our on. getting our music together. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We got our audio audio engineer. You know our music, you know what I'm saying? You know our speaker together, man. We got some music coming up, man. Shout out to our audio engineer today of the day, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's your boy Hard and Hard, man. Y'all here with Sneakers and Scrans today. And today, I want to let y'all know that next month we will be raffling off shoes. Blazers, join, you know, all different types of brands. You know what I'm saying? Starting that month. We just need y'all to follow all our social media platforms. Comment, subscribe, like, all that. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell your mama, grandma, any sneakerhead, you know, or anybody in the culture. We're going to be doing raffles. We're going to be giving away stuff like this. You just got to like, comment, subscribe, man. Fuck with the game. You know what I mean? And you can win you some shoes, bro. Straight up. We're going to do it once a month. Every month, we're going to give away a pair of shoes. You got to check in. Yeah, 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 man. Sneakers and Strange, the podcast, man. Sneakers and Strange, the podcast, man. Yeah, that was sir. just a, you know, short commercial break. You feel what I'm saying? So, like we were talking about, man, you know what I'm saying? Sneakers and Strange, there's a lot of history behind the sneakers. It's a lot going on with sneakers. There's a lot of people that love sneakers. There's a lot of people that's into raffles. There's a lot of bots out there. You feel yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> we gonna get into it. We gonna play a little music, man, for the people, man. Oh, what name? That boy One Way Cold. That boy One Way Cold, man. Shout out to all our artists out there, man. Yeah, yeah man. Got good music, man. One Way Cold, man. Why One Way Cold been what? working, man? You, uh, one Way Cold got any videos out right now? I think he got some. He got. What video you got? See, you gotta, I got now. We got. I gotta load up on the videos. I ain't got too many videos. I got two okay. videos out though. Okay. I gotta got now. I say I gotta load up on the video. Mm-hmm. Oh my, gotta get them visualities out. Gotta get them yeah. visualities out, man, to the people, man. Yeah. They want to see that shit, man. Yes, want to see that shit, boy. Damn, do we got any? Okay, yeah. Man, I need, I got, if I had my damn phone, 
I might have to go take that shit from Ray Ray, but I was just recording on that bitch. Yeah, on your other phone? Yeah, yeah, I recording that ain't shit water right now. Is it, uh, damn, you just had the motherfucker in your hand, though. I know, that's why I said, it was, I don't put that motherfucking song out there. Behind the scenes. Stop it, cuz. Stop it. Stop it. I got it, goddamn. Yes, sir. So, yeah, man, we back, man. Small commercial break. You know what I'm saying? Sneakers and Stranded Podcast. Yes, sir. This podcast is for sneakerheads and sneaker lovers. Um. Lovers of the culture, sneakers, you know, anything dealing with sneakers, graffiti, what have you, art. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a platform for creatives, uh, videographers, photographers, you know, it don't matter. We're going to have a whole lot of stuff going on on here, man. Like it, like my boy says, sneakers and strands is just, it's just, the, it's just the, the foundation, you know what I'm saying? We can really talk about what we want to talk about on here, because this is our show. So right now, we're going to get into some little music, man. We, You know what I'm saying? This this the, this the part of the show where we like to kick back, you know what I'm saying? Play some music, you know, get our vibe on, listen to some good music. So, uh, local art, artists that we, we uh, support, you know what I'm saying? Because we definitely support our local artists. Yes, sir. Well, who we got today? Man, we got that boy One Way Co in the okay. building, One Way Co. He sent us some music, man. We finna some music. some of this exclusive. Exclusive. This no, double. never before heard from that okay. boy One Way Co, man. One Way Co. Some of that trap and B shit. Fire the other one up. <laughs> Fire the other one up, man. Yes, sir. Some of that trap and B shit. Trap you gotta find one up to that trap and B shit. Yeah. I gotta find this nigga. I gotta be playing five. Hey, this shit sound like one of them rainy day songs, too. Yeah, it sound like old rainy day songs. Hey, that shit sound cool, though. I hop on the block, I'm popping my shit. He ain't seen it drip, he ain't seen it whip. I gotta walk in the club, I got by the 50. Knew she was standing, she acting so dizzy. Do a little dog, and yeah, I ain't no her titty. Check my B-roll, she thought it was one. It's like 1550, throwing up. I got rock in my kidney. Hella bottles, we got plenty. I'm the young nigga getting into my city. 12 behind me, I'm a swerve in the Hemi. Back in the day, my pocket was skinny. Nowadays, these bridges loaded. Lit in the club, I got my pony. Got me some glass, I'm trying to get more money. AP, hey, I'm going to the pool. Throw up your rich, you get lit in your city. Hey, when the gang, you try to get a million. Swerve in the lane, we get in the billy. I hop on the block, I'm popping my shit. He ain't seen the drip, he ain't seen it whip. I gotta walk in the club, I got by the 50. Knew she was staring, she acting so diddy. Do a little dog, and yeah, I know her titty. Check my B-roll, she thought it was one inside. Bitch, see? Yeah, man, we back, man. Another, hey. Another segment of sneakers and strands, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, we showcase a little music, man. Yes, that boy sir. Street, man. Shouts out to the boy Andy Screech, man. He's the Screech actor off the Zones the series. Y'all can check him out on Zones the series. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? He also got good music. Let's see what Screech talking about on that on their music, man. Sound like he talking about something. I had to work in the house. I had to work in the stash right. Niggas pull up and we add up. Somebody tag street. Somebody tag street. Somebody tag street. You ain't in the you ass out. Full loaded if a man got cooking up up in the pickle jar. My beat, she broke up the last box. Four twelve, they get in the last box. Got guns and we got the trap spot. Hop in the van till I pass out. Hop in the park till I pass out. We on the block till we sold out. Say we on the block till we sold out. Big wheel when we roll out. Cut dope, burn the holes out. Niggas, they know that they know now. If niggas, they know that they know now. Hit Milan, I got whole thing. We do not tolerate no lie. Draws in my silver Kirk Cobain. Take Molly and chase it with champagne. Rocks in his pocket with the same thing. Talk slee
Okay. Yeah. I had to work in the stash box. My niggas pull up and we add out. Homicide bringing the bad side. Yeah. Push one and the jag out. Yeah, homicide bringing the bad side. Fully loaded, it's a mag out. Cooking the dope in the pickle jar. My beat, she broke up the lab box. Fuck 12 in the kitchen. Your bitch broke up the lab box. Hey, man. That's why he cooking the dope in the pickle jar. The bitch broke the lab box. <laughs> okay. That ain't going in. <laughs> Hey, the stove don't work in the microwave, dude. I had to work in the house. Yeah. I had to work in the stash box. Well, the niggas pull up and we add out. Hey. Almost I bring in the pass out. Hey. Push one and the jag out. Hey. Roll the cush till I pass out. 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 We on the block till we sold out. Say we on the block till we sold out. Okay, okay. That boy street, that, that shit street went hard. Trying to now. I'm fucking with that. We had some good music submission tonight, man. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking, fucking with, with that. It. I'm fucking with that, man. Damn. Who the first artist? That boy One Way Co. One Way Co. Y'all make sure y'all follow One Way Co. on Instagram. Make sure y'all follow in these streets on Instagram. Uh, they were the two artist showcase of the night. Uh, if you would like to get your music played, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shoot us a DM. Send us your music. You know what I'm saying? We'll get your we'll music on the sure. show. You know what I'm saying? Sneakers and strands, man. We done got high, man. We ain't the motherfucker all kind of shit. Yeah, man. But hey. It is what it is, because it... I am hot though. I am. Hot. We can go on. But I'm vibing. Keep the show rolling, man. All kind of shit was going on, man. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all hit the like, subscribe button. Y'all make sure y'all hit the bell notification so y'all know when we uh when we drop new episodes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We gon' we gonna get y'all all the information y'all need on the on the merch when it get together. And uh, if you got a favorite, if you got a pair of shoes you want to see showcased on here, you never know. We might got them. All these shoes. We yeah. might got them. Let us know your favorite shoes in the comments. Um, also, follow us on Instagram. Tell them what's your Instagram, bro. Yeah, Big Aunt 1668. Big Aunt Nardo 1668. Y'all can follow me, Slip or or... Uh, uh, Y'all can follow the TV show page, Zones the Series, uh, SB Photos and Films. Uh, this has been another edition of Sneakers and Strands.